Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. Uh, last time we built out a craft that we're going to try to do a flyby of Mercury. And if we look here in our VAB build list, it's going to take 101 days to complete. Which is problematic because our Earth to Mercury window is in 60 days. So we're going to have to rush build the shit out of this thing. Uh, and get it down. Mm, 53 days. It shouldn't take 7 days for it to roll out. So, uh, that should do it. We'll work to complete. That's an aircraft that's out at Vandenberg. We'll be getting to that later. That was only 14 days to complete, so maybe I just should have done that first. But I really want to get to this launch. I'm kind of excited. I've yet to fly by Mercury or anything like that, really. So, uh, come on. Doop, doop, doop. Okay, work to complete. And yeah, we've already taken the contract to do a flyby of Mercury. So, not so worried so much about getting paid for this little excursion. Boom. Roll it out. Warp to completion of that. So we might have to sit on the pad for as much as a day waiting for uh, us to be in line with the plane of the moon. All right, let's do it. All right, so now we're here on the pad. We need to set our target of the moon, which requires a bunch of zooming out. There we go, moon. Set as target, Mechjib. Rendezvous planner, thank you. Our current inclination is 22.86 degrees and climbing, so it's going to be a minute. Always so terrified I'm going to time warp past things too quickly. Ooh, that was close. Alright, we'll take that. And nighttime launch, no big deal. Alright. Do, 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 yeah, all that rocket should be fully fueled by now. If it's not, then, well, we have to send the ground station to the Gulag. Alright, we'll just go ahead and launch here. Throttle set the full SAS on. Ignition. Ignition is good.
All right, and that's a orbit. Not a very pretty one, but it's an orbit nonetheless. 388 by 142. And so now we'll bring up MechJub. First, we need to select our target. I imagine our, it's going to give us a node that's a couple of days away. Set as target. Uh, maneuver planner. You gave me the pork chop. All right, as soon as possible. Departure anytime now. Create node. Well, that's nice. Uh, 5.5 kilometers per second. Uh, well, let's lowest delta V. That is our lowest delta V. Create node. Do we even have that? My goodness. Yeah, yeah we got like 4,000 in the. Uh, probe stage, don't we? So, oh, I moved it up here. That's right. Yeah, 2200 here. That's 35. Yeah, about 7800, give or take. So, th th that'll do. That gives us enough time for a correction burn, also. Alright, turn on our RCS thrusters. Oh, no, the ones from the AJ 10 stage are firing. That's no good. And they're not in that tank. They're not in that tank. There they are. Kill those, please. Thank you. Alright, we'll do one more science check. Good, 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 good. All right, we have all of those reports already. That's fantastic. Wow, where is this node? Quite off plane indeed. All right. start just a couple minutes early because as you can see on the figures over here that our uh, thrust to weight ratio will change dramatically throughout this very long burn Oh crap, engine failure. Oh no. Looks like the gimbling from the other three is more than enough to compensate. That is unwelcome. It's our second engine failure this mission. Crap. Hopefully it'll be the last. Uh, it does mean that those other three are going to run a little past their rated burn time. And there they go. Stage set. Ignition on our AJ-10 stage. We'll go ahead and turn on its hydrazine as well and lay on the pedal. Hopefully this engine won't fail. 
Yeah, now you see our burn time went up to 15 minutes. Now, this stage will only be making about 1,200 meters per second on this burn. We're going to finish out on the probe itself. probe stage. Oh, no connection. Come on. Oh, no. I didn't put Omnis on this. Oh, crap. Are we absolutely screwed or just mostly screwed? Yeah, those are beyond the horizon. We're not going to pick up connection again until we can see Australia. Which hopefully won't be that long. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, well. Let's just turn that off for a second. And we'll see how much we get out of the hydrazine from this stage. Lots. We'll just let it ride, I guess. Yeah, you guys get to enjoy it in time warp. I'm going to have to sit here in physics warp and just see what happens. Connection. Awesome. All right, we're going. Yeah, well, a little bit of an overshoot. Not a huge deal. Let's uh, see how well we did here. Oh, no encounter. That's awesome. Fuck. Aw, <laughs> oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. That maneuver's in four minutes. Let's see if we can't plot to solve this. Where did we mess up? No. No. It's not even giving us a... Okay, there it is. So, I'm guessing we do need to just slow up a bunch. Boom. Way to go, Mechjub. That's what we were looking for. What kind of node is this? 108 meters per second in three minutes. Help if I was in rotation mode, huh? Mechjib, all right, you haven't failed me this time. I'm very proud of that. To the uh damn it yeah time warp right past the node please I try to do this last little bit on these RCS thrusters. Though it'll take a while. But it looks like we're going to be playing chase the node. Come on. Come on. Alright, 
Let's... What is that? Oh, crap. Did I just totally pork this up? Yeah, I did. I, I plotted my maneuver node. So it's target, create node. Why doesn't that show? It's in one day and 10 hours. But I don't see where the node is, but Either way, uh, we're getting on a little too long here, so I guess this is all going to wait until next time. So thanks for hanging out, everybody. I appreciate it. I will see you tomorrow.